Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Miss King's Kitchen where so much happens in the kitchen. You guys, it's February, which means it's all about sports. You guys know this, right? Yes, it's the month of all the lovey-dovey and the hearts and Cupid and all that, but let's get real, right? We got All-Star Weekend coming up and we also got the Super Bowl. So for a moment, let's just give it up to the Toronto Raptors because we already know we have a chance and we're coming back to defend our title, you know. But All-Star Weekend, we got some cool things we're cooking up. We got some blazing wings, and we got some jerk shrimp, bacon wrapped, jalapeno poppers. I'm excited. So let's get started, but you already know, the only way to start off a cooking day properly is with a drink. And uh, I need mine, so let me grab myself something in the fridge. Oh boy, it's sports weekend, sports time. So why not? Why not have a cool red stripe? Hey, if you're Jamaican, you know about this, right? Cheers, everyone. All right, you guys. So you guys may have been a little confused until why are these wings called Blazer wings? So these are my mix of like a black and Asian type of style wing. So we got some Jamaican heat that's gonna go in here because you guys know I love myself some heat. We got some red stripe, huh? But uh, throwing that Asian, we're gonna be using tempura batter instead of regular flour. So let's get things started. First things first, got some ginger over here and we got some garlic. I am going to cut up some ginger and then I'm gonna grate the ginger and the garlic. All right, you guys, basically what I've done, I have one clove of garlic that I have already peeled over here and I've got about a, a few good chunks of ginger. So what I'm gonna do is grater these bad boys. And I like to wear a glove when I'm doing this, just in case, like if your fingers, you know, get a little bit too close to the blade, you know what I mean? This is a great way to get the flavor of ginger without, uh, without everyone seeing all the pieces of ginger. Let's season up this chicken. Okay, so we got the garlic and the ginger that we just shredded up, right? Drop that in. Some nice, fresh, fresh seasoning. And here we go. Let's do a little all-purpose seasoning. Uh, a little bit of curry powder, a little bit of curry powder, and some more black pepper. And I think I'm good. So, it's more black pepper. I love me some black pepper, so I've got a nice good coating of black pepper in there. And then, you guys already know, my favorite seasoning of all time is some all-purpose seasoning. Let's give it a little sprinkle. Don't want too, too much, because you remember I did put a good amount of salt in there too today. And a little trick for your wings, right? A little trick for your wings. Um, especially the Korean style wings. You know, sometimes when you crunch into it, like I'm always finding like, what is that secret taste? Like, I feel like I'm tasting something. A little bit of curry powder, not much, just a little bit. See, just, that's it. That's it, you guys, just a little bit, okay? Give that all a good little mix. Hey, fresh red stripe for the for the wing. Yeah, make sure everything is nicely covered. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in the fridge now and let it marinate for about 30 minutes. If you have up to two hours, it'd be great to give it its time. You guys know how I feel about time, uh, but give it its time, let it marinate. I'm gonna let it marinate for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, between time, we're gonna get started on those jalapeno poppers, those jerk shrimp bacon wrap jalapeno poppers. I'm excited. Here we go, you guys. All right, you guys, let's get started. First things first, shrimp. So you guys, uh, today we're dealing with some tiger shrimp, these beautiful, beautiful shrimp, and I'm gonna peel them off. So easy way to peel them off, just, you wanna just catch right underneath uh, the shell and just run your finger all the way across to the very end. And it's depending on what you're cooking, if you want to keep your tail or not. For this dish, I don't want the tail, so I'm going to take the whole thing off. Now, a nice way, just make sure it's nice and clean. You want to just cut down, just down the center of the shrimp. Check for the vein. As you can see, it's nice and clean. We're good to go. So, oh, we're going to drop these back into the bowl, and we're going to season them with a little bit of homemade jerk, which, um... Hey, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, you guys, I might give you guys this recipe soon. You guys might get my recipe, but only, only 
if you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my page, you know what I mean? Then maybe I'll give you guys some, some little secrets like this. So um, I only want to put one, one good tablespoon. That's all it needs. You don't want it to be crazy jerky. And I'm not going to add any other seasoning on top of this. I'm just going to leave it just as is. So there we go. I'm going to put this to the side. And we're going to start with our jalapeno poppers now. Let's cut off the tip. Place it right down the middle. And then you want to take out all the seeds, all that white in the inside, take that all out, scrape it all out, and you're good. And then we're going to set these aside. And we're going to start with the cream cheese filling, right? Because you need to have the cream cheese filling for the jalapeno poppers. We're going to start on that. All right, so for the cheese filling, you guys, we're going to use one block of cream cheese that we've had sitting. Drop it in there. Oh. And we got some cheddar cheese. Garlic, sea salt, pinch of regular salt, and a pinch of black pepper. Oh, close that up. Oh my gosh, you guys. I feel like the game is about to get started, right? So let's get this done. And we're gonna start with layering. Let me just move this beer out of the way. A little bit of that beautiful whipped cheese that we got. So this is the cream cheese with the cheddar in there and the seasoning, right? So get a nice good layer in there. Grab a shrimp, lay it right on top. Look at that bad boy, you guys, okay? And then we're gonna take a piece of bacon Oh, a piece of bacon, and we're gonna wrap it. Perfect. Yeah. And I already have my oven preheating right now at 375. So we got that going. So right when that's done, we're gonna throw this in there. We're gonna get all these wrapped. And then we're going to throw them into the oven. That's just about it. And it's going to cook in the oven, you guys, for about 25 to 30 minutes. You want to keep an eye on it. Once your bacon starts to get nice and golden, it's done. All right? All right, you guys, these wings are out of the fridge now. So... The beer is chilling. We got the ginger, we got the garlic all in there. So now time to add some dry, dry ingredients to this. So I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt, some black pepper. And now what is gonna give it that crunch, that Asian type of crunch that I was talking about, my Blasian wings. Instead of using flour, I'm gonna use tempura batter. So, try with Ooh! Mm. All right, you guys, I'm back. Um, you, you, you guys catch the wardrobe change? Had a little bit of a fumble, you know, something that me and the Falcons can uh, relate on. Gets hit. Ball is out. This is a fumble. So we got the 10-4 batter now. I'm going to drop this right in. And we got a little bit of cornstarch as well. Actually, gonna use a spoon. We don't want too too much cornstarch because the cornstarch is gonna help make it nice and uh, flaky, right? And nice and crispy. But the tempura batter is already gonna give it that, so we don't need too too much cornstarch. And I'm just gonna give it all a toss. All right, you guys, let's go over to the let's go to the stove and fry these babies up. And what's super exciting about this fry this time, you guys? We're doing a double fry. You heard me, double fry, double fry. All right, <laughs> I'll be back. All right, guys, my oil is heated. It's about at that 300 mark. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna drop these bad boys in. Make sure when you guys are frying, you guys don't overcrowd your pot or it will bring down the temperature of the oil. 
All right, you guys, I've turned up the heat a little bit. Um, and now we're gonna do our double fry. So yes, you heard me correctly, double fry. So the double fry is what's gonna give it that extra crispiness that we're looking for. So drop those back in. There we go. All right, you guys, we're done. We're done. The food is done. The wings are done. You know, I want to say it's like touchdown. touchdown. We, gotta, we gotta taste the food to make sure you know it's touchdown. Okay. Mm. You can't have wings without beer. All right, you guys, the wings fried, double fried. They're done. I have two sauces here. This is actually my salt cranberry sauce that we made way back when in Christmas time. It is a great sauce for wings too. And then this is some sweet chili sauce. You know, just some regular sweet chili sauce, but what I like to do, this is uh, our homemade pepper sauce. I like to add a little bit of pepper sauce to the sweet chili sauce. Now we got a spicy sweet chili sauce, there we go. And our jalapeno poppers. I want to eat. I want to eat, you guys. Okay, let me eat. I'm going to try this out. Mm. Guys, look at the wings. Fried all the way through. So juicy. Magnificent, actually. So good. But right? I'll try some of the sauce, too, though. Oh my gosh, this tastes so good. This tastes so good. Mm -mm. I don't think I'm sharing today. Mm -mm. Guys, this is so crispy. Mm -mm. These are really good. I'm not just in there because like I cooked it. They're just Really good. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. You guys, the jerk is not overpowering. You know what I mean? The jalapeno, nice balance. All in all, all of this, come on. Oh gosh, yeah. These dishes, touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah, I know I'm corny. I don't care, you guys. Touchdown, right here, right here. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Until next time. <laughs>